Howdy folks, Tex Grebner here with Tex Grebner Outdoors. I'm planning a bow fishing safari on the mighty Illinois River. This video may be interesting to those of you who bow fish already and are interested in filming your bow fishing adventures, or maybe imagination fuel for those of you who are interested in getting started in bow fishing. What I have here, this mess, is what happens when Tex Grebner gets inventurous. Now, if you don't know what inventurous means, it's a combination between inventive and adventurous. I'm planning a carp safari on the mighty Illinois River. This mess here is a system that I devised for filming and bow fishing at night. This, of course, is an AM mess retriever system probably the most popular way in the world to bow fish right now though I do like the Cajun drum style reels the way this works is when you shoot the arrow the line goes out hopefully the arrow sticks into the fish then you depress this portion here turn the crank and you're able to reel in your fighting carp, gar, or other rough fish species. Bolts into the side of the riser. Pretty simple to use, very simple to put on. Highly recommended. It's not my favorite because I prefer things that are even simpler, but largely you're going to encounter this when you think of bow fishing tackle. This right here is what is the real mess. This is a Midlands camera mount bracket that I have screwed into my stabilizer bolt and this is a Streamlight TLR1. I like the TLR1 because it is 1913 compatible on its own and it is easy to activate I like very much, as I said, the fact that it is 1913 compatible on its own, so you don't have to deal with another one inch scope ring and, and whatever. If it's good enough for my Glock, it's good enough for my bow. This portion here is nothing other than an old piece of flat iron that I drilled out a hole with. I've been filming deer hunts with this piece of iron for years. But, I realized that this particular piece of flat iron that I have bent actually fits the TLR1 perfectly and fits into the 1913 spec channel. So, crank that down, screw the camera down. When you see your fish, activate your light with your camera on. Shoot your arrow depress, crank, fill the boat, and film yourself being completely fucking awesome. But I hear you say, but Tex, we want to see it work. Well, the sad fact of the matter is, I have yet to be bow fishing with this system this year. I would prefer to bow fish during the daylight and have a cameraman, but you know me, I'm Tex fucking Grabner, odds are things ain't going to work out that way. But I do have some test footage in the backyard for you. Here you see the TLR1 in action on camera. And sadly the light is almost too powerful because it washes out the center. However, that's only on film. It is incredibly effective with just your naked eye. As you can see, I'm retrieving the arrow, and it was a bullseye. This is an even simpler bow fishing setup, and it is a drum style reel. It is nothing more than a mud cat bow fishing reel system and I've actually seen guys make a drum style reel 
out of taking that little itty bitty stabilizer bolt from here and punching it through the bottom of a Gatorade bottle lid, screwing a Gatorade bottle onto the front of their actual bow, and then wrapping their line around that. However, I did actually use a Mudcat bow fishing system here. It screws into the stabilizer bolt just pretty, like that. It has a clip that holds your extra line, and you re-wrap the line around the bow. Clearly, I don't have a setup for mounting a camera with this setup, but as you see from my hog light video, I still have the light portion here. And I'm going to snap on my TLR1. Right there. Tighten that down. And that is a completely operative system if you actually had a camera man or if you're not even intending to film your bow fishing at all but now you have a light source and a bow fishing setup this is your typical gar or carp point and it penetrates the fish and these barbs prevent it from coming out when you want to remove your arrow from the fish you grip the shaft and rotate holding the head that allows the barbs to move freely so that you can actually pull your arrow out of the fish now this slider portion allows the arrow to rotate freely so a fish can't spin itself off like that this is pretty much the same exact setup but this is my bullfrog setup normal carbon arrow with plastic veins a couple of wraps of bow serving in front of the veins to keep this slider from ripping them off mudcat fishing reel you could do this with an AMS fishing system as well still I have the TLR1 for shining the frogs at night NAP flipper 2 style of rest but the arrowhead is very different this is what I have come up with as a frog point this is an adder point on a broadhead main body but you could also do this with a field point I highly recommend the flipper rest on a Samic Sage because it allows you to shoot both feathers and plastic veins and throughout the course of this video you've seen me change up the setup three times the Samic Sage is an incredibly modifiable traditional bow and I highly recommend it this as I say is my bullfrog bow fishing setup here you see these two points side by side this here is the adder point and this is the carp point and it is as simple as cutting one off and tying on the other as you can see there's a stop screwed into this arrow and I have my bow serving wrapped around in front of my plastic fletchings because this point here might be just too heavy duty for your frogs well, I hope this video is helpful to you. As always, God bless all my sportsmen of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please check out my friends over at LegallyConcealed.org. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement and those of you serving in the military. And thanks for watching Text Grabner Outdoors. Get out there, my Illinois brothers and sisters, and clean up the river.